Every summer, thousands of kids travel to a sleepaway camp like no other. Camp Woodward. Here, gymnasts, cheerleaders, and action sports athletes come together for the summer of their dreams. To hone their skills, meet new friends, and take their talents to the next level. This season, we follow three amateur skateboarders as they leave friends and family behind in pursuit of one day turning pro. But it's what they're not expecting that will change their lives forever. Camp Woodward. Real kids and unreal summer. I'm CJ Collins, I'm 12 years old, and I am from Bullerton, Orange County. I was probably six years old when I started skating, and my dad had this movie called Thrashing the kids watching thrashing because that's like one of my favorite movies I love everything about it and uh, he's like look dad I'm Corey Webster and he like went for a drop-in on this little launch ramp yeah. it took me a, a little bit it was a little frustrating in the beginning but then I just was falling in love with it I mean, the skateboarding, like in general, like I never taught him how to do anything. There was a time when me and her were both working and we needed daycare. So the rest of the kids went to daycare and we found out that Vans, you could drop your kid off <laughs> at Vans and he could go skate all day. So we would pack CJ a lunch and we would just straight drop him off at Vans. And we were like, dude, daycare or vans? He would just take me to vans and then he asked the workers like, can I drop him off? And they're like, yeah, yeah, And he's like, all right, you're gonna stay here instead of daycare, because I hated daycare. It was so annoying. Every day I would go pick him up, he would be like, dad, look at what I learned today. Check this out, look at this. Every day, new trick, you know? And that just progressed into what he is now. He did it all on his own. He figured it out. He figured out how to do all these tricks. I didn't have to do anything. CJ is one of those kids with that feather light touch on his board. He doesn't have to overly concentrate about where his board is or, it just, you can tell in, in a kid when, when there's some real talent. The first thing I noticed is he skated to Slayer and he was probably nine or 10 at the time. He was skating padless. He's doing one-footers. This trick selection is just, I don't know where he got it or where he saw it from. Maybe it's from having a cool dad or, I don't know, he should be doing 540s or trying 900s. But when I asked him, I'm like, you do 540s? He's like, no, that trick's lame. So it's one of those things where I was just like, I knew right then, like, we got to give this guy shoes. 
I ride for Toy Machine now and Volcom and Vans. They're sick, like they take care of me real good and I get to hang out with like all the big dogs. I know I want to be a pro skater and just do everything fun, not take super serious like drama and all that, but just have fun with it and just see where I can go with it. This is my bedroom, I share it with my brother. Uh, this is my bed. And this little guy over here, this is probably one of my first boards I skated when I was little. All of these are my trophies. I won in like castle contest. This is probably my favorite trophy I've ever gotten. Boards, got this for my birthday, really sick. This is from Woodward Mono a Mono contest. I just gave these out in red. Made out of a real skateboard. This is our backyard, big hole in the ground. This is where uh, my mini ramp is supposed to be. Still working on it. My dad's been helping me. Me and him did this wall so he won't hit the gas line again. Yeah, I was on a trip and he called me and he's like, dude, I just hit the gas line and the house almost exploded. And yeah, I was like, dang, great start. My family, they're, they're rad. I don't know, I feel like I'm lucky to have them because like, they're awesome. My brother, he's crazy. He's just so caring. He loves his brother, he loves his sister. He's always wanting to like, you know, take care of his sister and change a dirty diaper. And... She loves to. CJ. <laughs> Change the diaper. <laughs> this is Fullerton Skate Park. This is my first skate park I've ever skated at. And um, I learned how to drop in here, actually. It's not like all just stupid back and forth. It's super flowy. Has a little bit of street in it. It's a fun one. my first pool I've ever skated. We call this place the cancer pool. It's gnarlier than like a regular skate park pool. Going to Woodward for CJ is probably going to be a super great experience for him because he's such a little skate rat. He just can't get enough of it. And I know he's just going to be like a kid in a candy store just hitting everything. Having Woodward, he's been to Woodward West and like the opportunity alone is, is really cool. I just can't wait to go skate there because I've never been there. So I'm like, all right, all right, what am I going to do here? Am I going to do some nice stuff or am I just going to skate and have fun? I can't wait. It's going to be so fun. A lot of guys in the past that have gone there have come out of there with uh, a deeper bag of tricks. I think he's probably thinking like, this is a good time to go get away and meet girls, <laughs> hang out with chicks. Because <laughs> I hear all the stories from when he goes to Woodward West. Like, he goes and hangs out with like all the gymnast girls and like, <laughs> comes home with phone numbers and, and yeah, he's got like a different girlfriend every time he goes. He's probably just thinking like, Dude, this is gonna be amazing. I think that I'll behave. Hopefully I don't get too crazy. <laughs> I just see the look on his face. He's always looking to get into something. 13, skate camp. <laughs> I think it's gonna get in some sort of trouble. 
I mean, he's, he's your typical boy. He's a very well-mannered kid, but um, you put him in an environment that's like, you want to run a dirt bike off the side of a cliff, possibly into some mattresses, he's going to jump on and he's going to help you figure out a way to do it even gnarlier. I could get a little crazy. I'm not too crazy sometimes, but I could get, I could get a little out there. <laughs> Next up, we check in with 17-year-old Megan Guy in Palm Bay, Florida and get a tour of her home skate park, Graffiti Skate Zone. 